In an age defined by high-speed circuits and digital connectivity, there remains something quietly poetic about a lava lamp. It doesn't buzz, beep, or flicker like modern devices. Instead, it glows softly, its colorful blobs floating and sinking in a dreamy rhythm that feels almost alive. A slow dance of light and motion that captures the imagination and soothes the senses. It's hypnotic, surreal, and nostalgic all at once. But for all its simplicity on the outside, the lava lamp is a remarkable example of how science and design can work together to transform the mundane into something magical. This is not just a retro decoration from the past, it's a living demonstration of physics in action, one that has fascinated generations since the moment it first lit up a dark room. So how do lava lamps work? To answer that, we must look beneath the surface, into a world of heat, density, and motion where chemistry and physics quietly perform their glowing ballet right here on History of Simple Things. The lava lamp's origin story begins in the early 1960s with an unlikely inventor, Edward Craven Walker, a British accountant and wartime pilot with a passion for quirky ideas. While visiting a countryside pub, he spotted a curious homemade device sitting behind the bar, a glass egg timer filled with liquid and blobs that moved when placed near heat. This peculiar object sparked his imagination. He saw more than a timer, he saw potential. After years of experimentation and refinement, Craven Walker developed a commercially viable version and launched it under the name Astrolamp. It wasn't long before it caught the eye of the public, becoming an icon of the psychedelic 60s. But beneath the lava lamp's groovy aesthetics was a careful balance of science, specifically heat transfer, fluid dynamics, and density manipulation, all encased in a simple glass tube. At its core, the lava lamp contains two essential components, a specially formulated wax and a surrounding liquid, both sealed inside a transparent container. These substances are immiscible, they don't mix, even when stirred or heated, much like oil and water. The real magic begins when heat is applied. Beneath the base sits an incandescent bulb that serves as both light source and heat engine. As it warms the wax at the bottom, the wax's density begins to change, setting the entire mesmerizing cycle in motion. As the wax absorbs heat, it expands slightly and becomes less dense. Once it's lighter than the surrounding liquid, it becomes buoyant and begins to rise in slow, graceful blobs. But as the wax moves away from the heat source, it cools, contracts, and becomes denser. Gravity pulls it back down to the base, where it reheats and the cycle begins again. This continuous loop of rising and sinking creates a mesmerizing fluid motion, like watching lava suspended in time, endlessly flowing between Earth and sky. The elegance of a lava lamp's motion relies on precise balance. The wax and liquid must be carefully formulated so their densities shift just enough with heat to trigger the gentle rise and fall, without causing the wax to get stuck or behave erratically. Manufacturers fine-tune this balance using specific wax blends and additives, while the liquid is adjusted with compounds like antifreeze or surfactants for clarity and stability. Even slight miscalculations can disrupt the entire effect. That delicate chemistry is what makes a well-made lava lamp both reliable and mesmerizing. Temperature is another crucial player in this glowing ballet. Lava lamps are designed to work within a fairly narrow temperature range, typically between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius inside the lamp. That's why they often take 45 minutes to over an hour to fully warm up before you see the wax begin to move. If it's too cold, the wax remains solid and stuck at the bottom. If it overheats, the wax can break apart into small erratic blobs or stay suspended without returning to the base. This is why lava lamps are not meant to be left on indefinitely. They require patience to enjoy and care to preserve. The entire operation is a quiet conversation between heat and gravity, with just the right balance ensuring that the lamp flows as intended. 
Even the shape of the lamp plays a functional role. The classic lava lamp shape, with its wide base and gently narrowing top, is more than just retro design. That curved form encourages the wax to rise in the center, where the heat is most intense, and then cool near the sides and top, guiding it back down naturally. Without this shape, the flow could become chaotic or inefficient. Every curve, every taper, contributes to the lava's motion. Even the placement of the bulb, the thickness of the glass, and the volume of the fluid are all part of a system that's been meticulously engineered to do something that looks entirely effortless. Color choice in lava lamps, while not affecting the science behind the movement, greatly enhances the visual experience. The wax and liquid are dyed with vibrant hues that contrast and complement each other, adding another layer of allure to the display. A deep blue liquid paired with golden yellow wax might evoke an undersea world, while bright red wax in clear liquid feels volcanic and primal. These combinations stir emotion and imagination, turning the lamp into a kind of glowing sculpture. It's why lava lamps continue to be used not just as lighting, but as mood pieces, ambient art, and even meditative tools. Despite their playful appearance, lava lamps reveal a deeper truth. The most beautiful phenomena often come from simple scientific principles. The rising and sinking wax reflects buoyancy, while the steady movement showcases convection and thermal expansion. With no moving parts or digital components, it relies purely on natural forces to create motion. That's the quiet brilliance of a lava lamp. It invites us to pause and admire the subtle marvels hiding in plain sight. In the end, the lava lamp remains both a nostalgic artifact and a timeless piece of living science. It doesn't shout or demand attention, it simply glows. Silently bubbling in the corner of a room, it serves as a small, constant reminder that wonder doesn't have to be fast or flashy. Sometimes it rises gently from the heat, floats to the top, and drifts back down again. And in doing so, it reminds us of the elegance of nature, the beauty of balance, and the quiet brilliance that happens when design and physics align. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.